Hi, I am Vimal Kaur. I head Entities Data Center Business in India, and it's my privilege to welcome you to our Navi Mumbai campus. Before we head inside, let me share some information about our campuses in the Mumbai region. We are building three campuses for the Mumbai region. Campus one is our Chandiwali campus, which will host an ultimate capacity of 250 megawatt of facility load. Campus three is our Eroli campus, which will host an ultimate capacity of 500 megawatt of facility load. And campus two, the campus under discussion today, is our Mahape campus which will host an ultimate capacity of 150 megawatt. That's 900 megawatt of facility load in the Mumbai region alone. This capacity is built to support wholesale, retail and hyperscale hosting requirements. This campus stands on an 8-acre plot. We have planned four data center buildings that will support 150 megawatt of facility load. In phase one, we are developing four acres and 90 megawatt of facility load spread across two buildings. This will be the largest facility in Navi Mumbai in terms of power capacity. A quick check of this building stats. The facility supports an IT load of 30.4 megawatt with a facility load of 45 megawatt. The structure has eight floors, ground and a basement for a super built up area of 400,000 square feet. Now let's step inside. As visitors arrive, they must check in with our security staff and carry a valid government-issued photo ID for verification. Every visitor goes through a two-step security check, a baggage scan and metal detector. Physical checking may be needed only if the metal detector fails. Now to the reception area where we are granted an access card to move around in the DC while accompanied by an entity employee. Let's step inside the data center. Now we are at the ground floor. The floor is 1500 mm above the ground level. At this level, we have the main entrance lobby, passenger lift area, BMS room, CCTV room, electrical room, customer seating area, and material entry and exit area, diagonally opposite to the passenger area. As you can see, there are no server halls on this floor. This has been done to ensure a maximum threshold for safety for your servers. Let's start with the passenger lobby and lift area. Here we have three client meeting rooms, a waiting area and a lift lobby for interfloor access. Now we are at the BMS room. Here we monitor the electrical components, racks, PDU, UPS, LT and HT panels. We also monitor the mechanical systems like chillers, precision air handling units and pumps, as well as fuel management system and server hall parameters. This is our CCTV and security room. The team monitors feeds from more than 1,500 cameras all over the facility, including PTZ cameras on the periphery, fisheye cameras on the security desk, and fixed home cameras for the inside facility areas. As a practice, we maintain six levels of security. Before one can access the customer racks, those are at periphery gate, lobby area for man movement and loading bay area for material movement. Turnstile to access passenger elevators. Security check on server hall floor. Man traps. Restricted access at server hall door. It is important for us to balance security with accessibility. And so our campus planning dictates that anyone inside the campus can typically reach the other end within 10 to 12 minutes on foot. Entry into the data center campus is categorized as pedestrian, passenger vehicles and freight vehicles with separate gates marked for the same. There is an additional gate for fuel tankers. Vehicle security scanning is done with three types of cameras. UVSS, under vehicle security camera, driver's face and under vehicle plate camera. At NAV1, all areas are under access controlled monitoring and all critical areas have two-factor authentication enabled. 
We also adhere to PCI DSS norms and hence all the camera logs are stored for 90 days and access card data is stored for 180 days. Let's move on to the electrical room. The campus receives power at 220 kV with line-in, line-out arrangement. This is step-down on-premise at the GIS substation from 220 kV to 11 kV using four power transformers of 50 MW each in N plus 1 redundancy mode. It's backed up by an equal number of 11 kV HTDG generators of 2.25 MVA each in N plus 2 redundancy mode. Our DGs are fed by eight high-speed diesel tanks each holding 70 kL per tank. These can keep the entire facility running for 48 hours on full load. At the server flow level, we have 36 dry type transformers of 2.25 MVA each, which are stepped down from 11 kV to 415 volt in distributed redundancy mode. Also, we have an additional UPS battery backup of 10 minutes to support the IT load in case of failure. Here's a look at customer seating area, a comfortable and secure space for client teams to work. And now, we are in the freight movement area, which consists of hydraulic lifts that will shift your equipment off the truck with zero tilt. The lift opens on both sides, further aiding material movement. Inside the facility, the material is scanned and logged under barcoding system. This facility allows simultaneous inbound shipments. The path from material gate has room for a vehicle with high turning radius, enabling easy access even for larger vehicles. Here we are on the server hall floor. We have four key areas on this floor. The meet me room, mechanical gallery, server hall, and the electrical rooms. Let's start with MMR. We have two on each floor for future growth. We have all major teleco operators present here making us a carrier neutral data set. Fiber enters the campus via four distinct paths. Two level header trays extend the copper and fiber cross connects from MMR to customer racks. These are the electrical rooms. The facility has UPS and battery rooms on each server hall, along with the transformer on individual floor. We use bus duct up to the UPS room. In the mechanical gallery, we have provided for a buffer zone to protect the server halls from external factors, including temperature variations. The gallery also holds fire suppressant Novak 1230 cylinders and the power hoops. This ensures customer privacy and moves the piping outside the server hall. Here are the data vaults. These are classified into enterprise, medium density and hyperscale, high density halls, carrying respectively 800 and 600 racks of standard size. These halls have standard call dial and hot dial configuration with raised floor and CAC implementation. Under floor services include power cables, grounding, smoke detection, fire suppression and overhead services include communication cables, smoke detection, fire suppression apparatus as a standard practice. The slab to slab height is 5.1 meters. For operational ease, we have color coded floor PDUs and power cables. Lastly. We can support customer specific fit outs, possible including taller racks, additional data trays, bus ducts and more. This is the roof of our data center. We deploy our HVAC and chiller systems here. We maintain a redundancy of N plus 2 for our data center HVAC systems. For sustainability purpose, we use air cool chillers. In totality, we have 23 numbers of 450PR chillers to back up our IT heat load of 30.4 megawatts. Now that's our NAV1A data center. I hope all of you have enjoyed this exclusive tour. Please feel free to get in touch with your client managers or simply visit our website to know more about the facility. With that, I'm proud to announce the official opening of NAV1 in Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra. Namaste. Thank you.